Hi everyone, welcome again to the Alti Show special edition of the World Games in Poland. Our special guest here today is Karina Walt, who is the events manager with Wiffler. So Karina has a very important job and a very difficult job. You've been with WIFDI for how many years now and what's changed over the time you've been with us? I've been almost four years with WIFDI yeah. and uh, a lot has changed. <laughs> <laughs> so basically we see a, a huge amount of growth in the sports. Yeah. Um, so not only the amount of teams that want to enter the events but mm -hmm. also the amount of people that want to come to events. And wow. we've also seen a large amount of events added to the calendar. Wow, so that essentially means a lot more work for you and your teams every year, doesn't it? Absolutely. Like putting all those things together. Yeah. So 2017 now, mid-2017, um, what are the highlights lined up in the next calendar year? What are the big ones on your schedule? Mm -hmm. So 2017 is our regional event year. Mm -hmm. So we host uh, a lot of our smaller events um, in preparation for the World Championships. Okay. So 2018 sees uh, WIFDIF host four World Championships. Oh wow, okay. The under 24 World Championships will be held in Perth uh, early January. Nice. And then we move into a very, very busy summer with Oof. three different events. Wow, three in one summer. And so there's been some announcements about splitting off events as well, and that has something to do with player numbers, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So um, what we found is that with the growing number of federations that have become members of Wolfdorf, right. um, we seem to need to have more areas with more fields. Yeah. And uh, we've split off uh, for 2018 the Masters divisions out of the Ultimate Club Championships. Wow. So we've now made two events from one. So it essentially means that everyone can participate, but it's just a different events in different locations, which is, you know, great that it's happening. Um, so, I mean, I guess over time we're going to see more and more events, um, and that means more opportunities for people to host events as well. How does that whole process work? How does the bidding work? How can people who are interested apply to us to host an event? Mm. Um, hosting events is really important mm. and finding the right host is equally important. Mm -hmm. So we have an event subcommittee that uh, looks at all the bids and finds the best host for each event. Okay. Um, not necessarily the biggest host is the preferred host. Okay. Um, we always work about two years out mm -hmm. and we're currently looking for hosts of our regional events for 2019 okay. and our world uh, ultimate events for 2020. 2020, wow. So obviously all this needs to be planned very well in advance, doesn't it? It's important stuff. I mean, you say it's not always the, the, sort of the biggest country or the biggest host that gets these bids. What, what are the important criteria? What are the things that the subcommittees will look at when they're deciding who should host it and who shouldn't? Okay. Of key importance is the actual competition aspect of the event. So fields and the logistics around hosting the athletes to compete in the event. Yeah. Hotels, transport. Okay. And... But we're seeing more of a change in actually understanding that we need to offer more around the events. So um, getting tourism boards from the cities on board is also very important. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, making it a, a world experience for our athletes. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, and a question to you on a more personal level. So you say you've been with us four years. You, I know, have been behind the planning of so many events with us. Do you have a favourite event? Do you have one when you're like... Yeah, that was that was the one that I really enjoyed working on. That was wonderful. Yeah. The people actually make the events. Yeah. When I, when, without the people, it's impossible. So right. I, I have to say that uh, the hosts of the World Ultimate and Guts Championships in 2016, UK Ultimate, yeah. with Cy Hill leading that team, wow. were absolutely amazing. Yeah. I think the advantage they had there was that they hosted an under-23 championships in 2015. Mm. A lot of the volunteers and key staff remained on and worked the second event the year later. Wow. And that makes a huge difference to be able to actually make relationships and have people with experience come in and host the events. So, I, you know, it provides consistency and, and practice as Absolutely. well, which is fantastic. Mm. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for speaking with us, guys. You're that was Karina. And, of course, if anyone out there is interested in hosting events, you can get all the information you need about how to apply, how you can have that opportunity on the website. Thanks for joining. <laughs>